Welcome to this week's TDD Weekly Report for the week ending July 4th. And you will probably hear some fireworks in the background because it actually is July 4th when I'm recording this. I'm going to make it kind of short this week because it is a holiday weekend, but I've got three news stories here I want to share with you. This has been going around that new bubble wrap will no longer pop when you squeeze it. It's not meant to say by this article that you will not be able to find the old style bubble wrap ever. I guess for consumer uses you will still be able to find and it will still be available the old style bubble wrap that we all love to pop. But this new style bubble wrap is going to help them a lot with shipping costs. It ships in flat plastic rolls and what they do is they send a little inflating unit along with it to the consumer. So. Um, in this case, it would be commercial consumers and uh, industrial users. And what it does is it basically inflates columns of air. And it still looks kind of like the same shape of bubbles, too, but because they share connections between the columns of air, if you try to pop one of the bubbles, all it does is move the air side to side in the column. So uh, this will probably be a great innovation as far as if, if you have to ship bulky items or something like that or items that just take up space with air. Um, why not, you know, wait till they're at the other end of the um, consumers to, uh, especially in the case of uh, people that can handle it that way with the industrial and, and uh, commercial type of users. It would be very impractical to send an inflating unit or to have an inflating unit be purchased by the individual consumer. So don't worry. I think you're going to for a long time be able to go to the post office or any of your office supply places and be able to get your standard old bubble wrap that pops for you. Um, here's something interesting from Fox News. Audi joins the moon mission, and there's a picture of this I will put up. There's a high-stakes X-Prize competition running, and this one's for the moon, literally. We're t talking, of course, about the Google Lunar X-Prize. It's a $20 million prize, and if you want to bother to get some more detail, just Google it. You can just put Lunar X-Prize, and you'll see what it is. But evidently, Audi now has announced they will join the Google Lunar X-Prize, teaming up with German team part-time scientists in the moon mission. The team has selected the old landing site of the last manned mission to the moon, the Apollo 17 landing site, as the target. And thanks to its partnership with Audi, the team will benefit from the automaker's lightweight construction, electric propulsion, autonomous driving, and Quattro technologies. I've got to believe by the time they get done with all this, though, especially with Audi getting involved, I mean, it's nice to win the $20 million prize, but I think they're going to be spending way more than that to win it. But um, I'm sure there's other things in it, too. I mean, just to have the... Um, kudos to be able to win the prize and just the achievements that will be by actually doing itself. The top speed of this rover is about two miles per hour, but of more importance to the mission is the vehicle's ability to handle the rugged surface of the moon. The vehicle will also need to sustain extreme temperature fluctuations and high radiation levels. So good luck. They're among uh, a lot of different competitors under this uh, Google X Prize. So um, see if somebody can possibly win it. I mean, that also means that it has to actually reach the moon in the first place. And as we know, launches have not been too successful. And going into speaking of launches recently, um, there have been three different missions to resupply the International Space Station that have actually failed to deliver and actually either tumbled out of control or blown up. So, uh, And two of them were the last two missions in a row. But fortunately, this Friday, from the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan, the Russian craft to resupply the space station did get a successful launch and separation. So it looks like sometime Sunday it will be approaching the space station and they will actually be resupplied with materials. And uh, uh, to, before you start saying, oh, yeah, the Russians can do it and we can't, well, one of the supply missions that did fail was a Russian mission, too. So it's not just SpaceX that always can't get it done. And you have to realize that as good as it is, space is not perfect. And I don't blame all those people that are asking for their money back if they uh, you know, want to be civilians flying in space. Um, I don't think I would want to take it into outer space, too. It's still not anywhere near um, you know, reliable enough that I would risk my life on something like that. I mean... Yeah, the failures are few when you consider the, all the total launches, but uh, uh, I don't think so. And uh, let's see, it was, uh, it's going to deliver 5,249 pounds of supplies on Sunday. They include food, water, oxygen, fuel, and scientific apparatuses. I don't know if it includes the, uh, uh, the last one I think that blew up had an actual uh, docking adapter um, that it was going to deliver. I don't know if they had enough chance to get that on this one or it's going to be on one of the next ones, but... Yeah, that's kind of an essential piece of uh, equipment that they're going to need to, uh, I guess, when they're going to have the first uh, spacecraft to uh, come from a, a, the U.S. to the space station. They need this docking adapter to be able to uh, uh, take crew from the American spacecraft and uh, 
put it into the International Space Station, they need a special docking adapter. So hopefully if it's not in this supply mission, it's in a other supply mission sometime soon because I'm sure before they can even use it, there's going to be all kinds of tests besides just the time to mount it and get it ready to go. So anyway, three subjects this week because it was a, kind of a holiday weekend and everything like that. Hope everybody has a good 4th of July. I will catch you next week.